Hello, my name is Davy, and uh, I'm the product owner of the developer portal uh, for the Air France KLM. That's fine. Um, back in the days, uh, people didn't mind to wait five hours at the airport because it's a complete experience and flying was a leisure trip. But nowadays, people would like to go to the airport and waste as less time as possible. And for now, I think people want to have a longer period of lunch instead of uh, what is happening right now is that we are a little bit delayed. And so instead of, thank you. Uh, instead of having people waiting in line, we put these machines, these big machines at the airport called kiosk, where the people can get the boarding passes uh, out of it. And all those information is exposed via an API, uh, some way or another. And that's also why we are using API, is because it is fast development, it is friendly to use, and if you want to add some new features in it, it is very easy to do so. It is consistent, and most importantly, we can work together with other organizations. Oh. Um, so for the complete journey, uh, we want to be where the customer is. So from searching to looking back uh, of your journey, we created some core APIs that we use internally and uh, maybe at a later date, everybody can use it. And with the order API, you can search for booking. With the flight stage API, the passenger can see whether their flight is delayed or whether uh, they are on time for their flight and where to go to. So the, these are basically our core APIs. And we are creating new APIs where we can connect more and more to our customers where they are during their journey. So basically, we try to personalize. And we um, found out that th uh, at the airport to the airport arrival, so the destination is where the passengers are the most concerned about their journey, so they are the most stressed about. So we try to create our application and connect to other applications to reach these customers. And for the blue part, uh, we sometimes let it to other organizations to connect to us like Skyscanner or Google Flight are uh, some of the organizations that uh, connect to our API to find out what the price are of our flight and compare them with our competitors. So we basically want to be where our passengers are, and we want to try to be as connective as possible when the time is that they need us. So we have an application that we connect with Facebook Messenger, and we created a bot called Louis on Air France. And it is now possible for you to log into your Flying Blue account and see how much miles you will receive. But Louis can also answer some common questions like your flight status, or how much baggage you can bring with you during your, your trip. And sometimes these are questions that are easily able to be answered, but um, not as easy to be found on our website. So we want to be there where the, our passengers are. And in this case, a lot of users already have Messenger on their phone, and they just connect to us and uh, talk to Louis. So you can try that out. It's live. Uh, another thing is whenever they have uh, the KLM app, we are also working together with other uh, APIs from our partners, like American Express or Accor Hotel, to see how much point you have collected during your stay at a hotel or during your spending with your American Express card. So you can spend your miles directly on our uh, KLM app. 
to get a better seat on your next flight. And also recently we uh, worked together with Delta, who is also in this uh, auditorium at the moment, um, where we can, um, with our own app, check in to a Delta flight or all the way around with a Delta app, check in on our Air France or a KLM flight, which was not possible before because the airline industry is quite closed off and wants to keep their passengers with their own application. But now with the API usage, we can collaborate together more easily. So we want to be there where the customers are, and in our case, is across all the platforms that you can find. And you can switch your seats as easy as to book your ticket. And if at the end of the flight you are liking it, you can rate our flight and say what is good about it. So we recognize that our strategy is always to be where our customers are. But with our developer portal, it is not always clear who our customers are on the developer portal. Ultimately, the users of our developer portal would like to expose the API that we have towards the end users. But we have to identify as well that the people on our developer portal are also our consumers and customers. So with our current issues that we face with our current developer portal is that it looks like a documentation dump. For a lot of developers, I guess it is quite common when you go to the developer portal and you will read a lot of documentation and you don't know where to start. It is quite difficult to use because they all look the same and there's not really a feature where you can see hey, this is a great way of using our APIs. Uh, the slow process is also there because not always everything is up to date for the user to read into what is the newest feature, what can I use. And uh, generally speaking, the process of accepting your request on consuming a certain API can also cost a lot longer than it should be. So moving on, we recognize our customers, which are mostly the corporate users, as well as our partners, as well as new students that want to work together with us. And we want to create a marketplace, a asset marketplace, where the user can easily find out more information regarding what kind of asset or what kind of feature, if they consume this API, uh, what you will get. So you will see the advantages of having it. You will see how you can use it. The documentation will come later. And it is basically to uh, be like a web shop. So you click on a certain asset, which will then explain to you what kind of feature is on that asset. And um, ultimately, with that, uh, on one of our hackathon, a team of social media created a application on Amazon Alexa where you can get inspired, which uh, you can just go to Amazon Alexa to ask, what type of holiday do you prefer? Do you prefer a sunny holiday, a winter? a more adventurous one, and Amazon Alexa will deduct uh, to which place you go, and it will also advise you at that destination what you can do. So our future developer portal needs to have consistent documentation. It is also for now not online yet for you guys to use, but it will be in the future when we have social login and we can recognize every user that is basically in this audience. Um, the look will have the same as a marketplace or a web shop where you can just click on it. Uh, you will receive all the relevant updates uh, coming in to, uh, depending on to which uh, asset you are subscribed to. 
So you will know that there's a new feature update or that the previous version is getting out of date and end of life. So the user flow uh, will be a little bit simplified when you are using our uh, developer portal, which you go to our landing page, you find the API, you search the documentation, whether you like to use that API, and you just simply request the access. Depending your social login, we can recognize you. We grant you the access uh, a little bit faster than what is before, and you can play around with the API. Uh, with the Manage Application tool, you can just see and group which asset uh, has the same endpoint, so you don't have to uh, reconfigure everything again on your system. So, like I already mentioned, I will try to keep it short because everybody is quite hungry, I guess. So, uh, our strategy we identify that is about customer centricity. We want to be where our customers are, and in this case, with the developer portal, we know that it, uh, they are the corporate people, they are our partners, but also students, startups, and so on. So our execution will be creating API for every process that is important for ourselves. And because we know it's important for ourselves, there are already users for it, because we are using it. And then we will then later on decide whether we can expose it to the open world and let you guys create new applications and uh, features for it so that we can reach more of our customers uh, across the, the globe and also where they need us to be. So it will be leading to personalized offers within and outside our organization, like already mentioned, and it should be a seamless experience across the customer journey. So yeah, how does your ideal developer portal look like? Because this is something that I would like to show the world in the coming months. Thank you very much.